Jacob Agnes here for another episode of Let's Play Dark Cloud. In the last episode, we made it through Wiesel Forest to uh, this place, whose name escapes me, of the Village of the Moon People. In this episode, we're going to see if uh, anyone can maybe help us out in trying to save the world. And before anyone asks, no, I did not do any fishing, so the taking a temporary hiatus thing might be something that actually happens. We'll have to see. Oh, what on? Leave me alone, will you? Rude! I'm just minding my own business walking along, and you're gonna just shout in my face to leave you alone? <sighs> Honestly. Excuse me while I break into this person's house and see if they have anything to steal. Hello, Theo. Who, who are you? You don't have anything worth value. Well, except for maybe the giant thing in the middle, but I don't know how to use it or what it is, so it's not worth taking. Oh. Okay. I was gonna look around at the other houses, but... Ow. That hurts slightly. Whoa! Bingo! The first try, and look at it! Like, it's boring, kinda. What do you want to do with this? Where am I? So, is that the old one? I think so. So, you've come around. What does a human want in a place like this? The Dark Genie? What's that? It's no use talking nonsense. It's not nonsense. I'm sure sticking your head under the water will help you reconsider playing the fool. Man! What? This person seems to be telling the truth. The crystal has... Please, just come! So is someone going to tie me down, or... Am I just going to sit here while you do whatever? Oh, good. Here we go! Brr! Clunk! Okay... Well, this looks imposing. Like an evil fortress, if I've ever seen one, and I have seen quite a few evil fortresses in, uh, fortresses in my time, I'll have you know. Is, is he smoking a giant-sized cigar? He is. A very large cigar. D does it know we are watching it, or...? That was a very creepy smile. Especially if it was looking... Well, it did look at the screen. Hmm. I feel a tremendous power. This must be the dark genie that guy was talking about. Is this the evil genie of darkness that our ancestors sealed? Probably. I would like help, please, thank you. What? You're telling us to seal that thing again? No way! Never! We could never seal that monster! Not without the ability we have- or not with the ability we have now! Theo is right. Magic is indeed the secret power of the moon peop- uh, the moon people have passed on through generations. La, I fumbled all over myself, I'm sorry. But as we lived in this land for so long, we seem to have lost that ability. We just don't have the power to seal the genie anymore. It doesn't mean that it's impossible, though. Well, what do we do then? There are no moon people left here who can still use magic. But if you go to the moon, there should definitely be those that can. Exactly, you're right. We need to go to the moon. Okay, and how does one go about doing that? Also, which moon? I don't know if you realize, but there's two of them in the sky. People in Brown Boo have always prepared for this day to return. We have a ship to take us to the moon, hidden in a particular place. What? Can we really do such a thing? 
It's okay. You won't use it for a while anyway. Bring on the moon. Uh, bring the moon orb here. Roger. The orb of the moon is a sphere to move the moon ship. With the orb, you can remotely control the moon ship from anywhere. Okay, that sounds useful. Oh no! The moon orb is missing! What do you mean? Does anyone know where the orb is? Nem, sir, the other day Chaska went to Queens to sell moon fruits. Okay. Could it be that it was accidentally mixed together with the moon fruits? How do you do that? Chaska! Yes? Do you know about the moon orb? Uh, now that you ask, I do remember a strange colored fruit amongst the others. How do you mistake a holy sacred object? Well, that's kind of redundant, holy sacred. How do you mistake a very important sacred object with fruit? I get it's round, but it's not the color of the fruit normally are. That must be it! How could you do that? My question exactly. I'm so sorry, Chief! Hmm... Seems like we can't let you use the moon ship. Without the moon orb, we cannot operate the moon ship. Say, why not go to Queens to find the orb? Oh, that's a good idea. You can find the orb on your own. Then we can operate the moon ship. These kinds of things should be done by oneself, I suppose. And you'll return it after you're done with it. With them doing all the work, what are you doing? Now, I will mark queens on your map so you can go there. And that's it. I am old, you see, and cannot do much on my own, so I need young people to do it in my stead. And you need to do it for yourself anyway, so it's not really like I'm forcing anything upon you. You better get moving soon. Off you go. All right. I guess off to Queens, then. I didn't know New York existed in this area, but I guess it does. So, I'm going to just wander around, see if I can find any treasure in these houses, and then I guess we'll go off to Queens, now that it's marked on our map. Uh, mint and litchi. Did the fruit hit you? Sorry, let me make it up to you. The key works to create the mighty heavens cloud. Uh, the key words to create the mighty heavens cloud are ice, thunder, wind, holy, dino, beast, and metal. Maybe I should write this down somewhere. Of course, to build, to build up to it, you must have a sword to begin with. Okay. I'm gonna. Okay, ice, thunder, wind, holy, dino, beast, and metal. Alright. Speaking of, now that I think about it, how are my weapons going, and what was I doing? Serpent sword I was trying to buff up? And this... Oh, it's already there. Built up weapons... Not allowed with attachments. Oh, right, I have to level this up if I want it to go up to the next sword, don't I? And I was trying to build this up. Um, I might as well try finishing that one, maybe, but... No, nah, I want to get this to level up. I need to get a sword to level. What about this? Where are we on this? Just attack, fire, thunder, dino, water, and mage. Or attack, water, and mage. I'm probably just going to go with water and mage. So yeah, attack, water mage. What do you have equipped to you right now? Oh, you actually have fire and thunder, so maybe I will try that since, you know, I have the access to it. Wait, I have a water? Oh wait, these have water in them, don't they? One of these. I guess not. And I was planning on, oh wait, right, I have the ice there now. 
Yeah, let's just go with a small sword for now and try to get to level. What about you? What do you have to say? I hear Queens is a great place with lots of food. Good food, rather. Well, that's nice, I guess. Okay. So Heaven's Cloud sounds like an interesting weapon. I hear the shipwreck in Queens is haunted. Brr. Well, let's hope that's not true. I guess. This chamber is where moon fruits grow and are stored. Okay. So there's nothing of value here. Well, except for the moon ship, but we don't have the means of, you know, activating that yet. Sugar. Even Mr. New Moon did. I'll never approve of humans. Racist. Humans. <laughs> Well, excuse me, sugar. It doesn't seem like you're all that sweet. Pickle. You're the first human our mayor liked. I wonder why you. I don't think it's that he liked me more as, you know, he just decided to work with me because what other option did he have? Moose. What? Just get out of this village now! God, they're so unwelcoming. Day. Your adventure is heading for a faraway place. You really shouldn't go on foot. Well, what choice do we have? Kiwi? He may have destroyed Queens too. That spells serious trouble if he did. Okay. Now, off to Queens. Let's see what New York of this world is like. Whoosh, 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 whoosh. Don't know why I made the sound effects. The game has sound effects already. Well, welcome to Queens. It looks... Now, this borough of New York looks a lot different than what I'm familiar with. Then again, what time does this take place? And in a different world. Never mind. Well, let's just do this because it's quicker and easier. Oh, this place is pretty big. Well, no duh. Uh, okay. That's so sad. I mean, this place is, like I said, massive. It was probably this big bustling area before all of this happened. Now it's just an empty, desolate wasteland. Inside of a wall. Well, inside walls. We're not going to be listening to that music for long because I'm, you know, going out. Or not. Apparently cutscene. This sounds like something that was in Sui Coden 4, I feel like. Oh, you! So there are other humans left other than myself. I thought I was the only one left in this whole wide world. Good to know there's someone, even though you're only a kid. I'm Rando. I sell goods here in Queens. And you? So you're Draco. Oh, we don't have to stand here talking. Why don't we go over to my shop? Is it on the boat? Oh, no, you just have a shop over there. All right. So I buy supplies and such from you, or... What? They brought that fat beast back to life? Fools! They must be from the East. They're up to some madness again, those blasted Easterners. Blood-sucking scum of the earth. Even back then... Damn! <clears throat> Actually, that was probably bad. Damn! So what's the moon orb like that you're looking for? Um, it's big and round like an orb shape and it's a color, but that's all I really know of it. I see. Maybe it's lost in the undersea treasury. It's a shipwreck at the bottom of the Queen's Sea. Most merchants and queens use it as a warehouse. But it's changed lately. Now there are monsters everywhere, so I can get a lot of loot that doesn't belong to me, you say. A 
giant monster that attacked queens must be the cause. Today, it's so dangerous a place that we cannot even get our merchandise. Do you still want to go there? Alright, I'll help you. Come follow me. Not like I really have much of a choice in the matter, but okay. This Queens is a town of merchant traders. Some items we handle are really rare and expensive. Such expensive items need special care and handling. The safest place to keep such items here in Queens is... Kind of a huge safe at the bottom of the sea. But you're wondering why the ship sank there, aren't you? It was about a hundred years ago. The Queen's reign over Queens passed away. Oh, the Queen reigning over Queens, rather. And that was when the townspeople who adored the Queen sunk her favorite ship along with her. Oh, so it was some sort of funeral rite. Kind of like how the Vikings set a ship on fire when sending it out to sea. Hmm. That's the wrecked ship at the bottom of the sea near Queens. When Queens revived as a merchant town, the late Queens sunken ship started to serve as the undersea treasury. Sounds a bit disrespectful, but merchants are practical. They make the best of any situation. What? How are you going to get there? Or, oh, how are you going to get there? Take a look at that. It's the sum submarine turtle that makes trips to and from the shipwreck. But how do I breathe underwater? Because isn't the ship still underwater? Or is there somehow air inside the ship? This is what the merchants use to ride to and store valuable items in the treasury. There, it's all yours. It only carries one person, so you'll have to go alone. Oh no, it's not like I'm a capable warrior or anything. Oh wait, does that mean my party members can't come with me? One person, or how do you operate it? It's easy, you just get in and it will take you to the shipwreck. So it's fully automated, cool, cool. It was designed for merchants who know little about machines and are only good at coin yeah, counting money. I'll be in my store, so stop by if you need anything. My store carries a lot of stuff. Oh, I'll give you a hand, but I have to charge you for the goods. Even at times like this, a merchant is a merchant. Take care. You know, you think you would help me restore your town? At least give me a discount! <sighs> Douche. Oh, and you can fish here if you want, but... I really don't see the need, because, like, first of all, the only bait I think I have is the poison apples right now. And I sell most other bait, because no other fish is really as good as the fish that I can get here, or in, uh, Matataki. You know, the, uh, ah, uh, what was it, the Madarian Garian? Something like that. The big purple fishy that gives me all of the fish points. That one. So if I ever really want to fish, I don't, but if I ever really want or need to... Oh, hey, that was a pretty cool-looking shipwreck. Anyway, if I ever want to need to, go back to Mataki, do the fishing, etc. Oh, huh, there actually is air in the ship. That doesn't seem physically possible, but... Whatever. I guess the entire ship didn't flood when it came down here. Somehow. So, um, I can go to the left, or just the left. Okay, the left it is then. <laughs> going up. Going up. Alright, shipwreck. Music here is so sad. Alright, layer one. With six atla. Due to mysterious force in this floor, you get thirsty quicker. Oh, joy. Wait, is that? No, that's. Well, it is a treasure chest, but it's not one that I can get to. A gunny. That looks like a clam. Actually, it looks more like a. Ow. Hermit crab! A dead hermit crab now. So, come on. Oh, hey, revive powder. That's nice. Do I not have any. 
do not have any healing items. That, uh... That blows! Oh, hang on. Um, uh, well... That would probably be the best thing to put in, then. Corsia? Ow! Ow! Well, this isn't going very well. I might have to just get the hell out of here to get some healing items. Oh, an antifreeze. I could sell that. And there's probably not going to be a spring down here at all. King? Is that a person? Or... Well, probably, I'm guessing. Uh, what are you? Oh, hey, another Corsia. Ow! Who oh, boy. I need to get back in the fix of things. Then again, these are all new enemies, so... Oh, it's a gunny. And I still have healing items, so I guess it's not too bad. Oh. Thank goodness I realized. Repair! Okay, so, what are you? Oh, hey. Nice, nice. Well, I guess we're going the other way now. Water mill? Is there even water in this city? Well, aside from the ocean? Oh, probably. I mean, if they give me a water mill, they must have need of water mills. Actually, yeah, of course, because it's seawater. So they're going to need some way to purify it. Therefore, water mill. Oh. Oh, okay. So there must, there must be uh, a way to activate the lift, I'm guessing, is what it is. Okay, another Corsia. Ow. Well, at least the gunnies are easy to kill. I have to figure out the pattern on the Corsia. Hmm? Eevee? Eevee. Favorite of sea fish. Okay. I don't know why it took me so long to read sea fish. I mean, I guess I could do some fishing if I... Well, I don't really want to, but... And my laptop is dying. Thank you for the noisy reminder, laptop. Appreciate it. Really. I really should have checked my supplies before coming in here. Actually, now that I think about it, how much gold do I have? Whoa! I have that much? Damn. Do I really want to go get the owl sword at any point? Or am I going to save up this loot? Probably just going to save up the loot as much as I can. Okay, map. Drink. So what's this? It's filling with water. Am I hearing things? I hear something like whistling. Well, I have nothing to, you know, do anything with that, so... Road. Okay, that makes sense. Big city. Gotta have roads. Oh wait, there is? There actually is a spring in here. Who'd have thought? Hmm. Well, it's not that long of a journey because we're only on level one and it's not that big a map. So, I'm just gonna run into that spring, ignore everything in my way, including enemies. After I grab this, after I grab this, after I grab this! Whew. Close call. A spout? Alright. Sure. Whew. Okay, first the gunnies, because they're easier to take out. Oh, I am not letting this die. Not since it's gone so far. Gotcha! Okay, none of them dropped anything. That's not good. <laughs> okay, more road. Not a lot of uh, houses or things to really build on. Oh, hey, a petite fish. Yay, I guess. So, glad I got that fish. 
Well, I could also sell the fish that I'm getting, too. Killed all those things, yet there doesn't seem to be a, uh... Oh, it's a hammer spot. Okay. Well, that explains some things. Okay, log. Looks like switch. Wait, why do I have this up? Isn't this going to be really, really hard to build up? Yeah. Am I going to build this first? Well, now... Oh, wait, I took it out for that one boss, didn't I? So, yeah, might as well do the tuna. Take that! Corsia, which I'm assuming is some sort of undead enemy. Oh no, it's a gunny! King me. Whew. Attack one. Okay, this thing, however, is not going to go down without a fight. That's much better. Oh, hey, I got a hook. Oh, that must be the thing I need. Makes sense. Okay. I wonder how exactly a fish is supposed to break a bicycle. Okay. It's another gunny. More gold. Nice. Where's the... Oh, it's another Corsia. Well, here's hoping that I waste a lot of my weapon HP. Get closer. There we go. Now, repair. Repair this as well, considering where it is. All right, we're good. Well, I guess we're going back to the hook then. I'll see you in a okay, bit. Okay, here we are. Now let's put on the hook. Attach the pulley to the hook, can go to the upper levels, use it to go to the upper levels, I guess. Okay, yeah, and let's leave temporarily, because I need to buy supplies, desperately. Alright, with that, I think we'll end this episode here. In the next one, we'll uh, go back into the shipwreck, get some more, you know, Atla, and hopefully start rebuilding the town. See you guys then.